guys, in today's video I'm excited to share with you five easy and delicious freezer meals for the Instant Pot or Crock Pot. been a lifesaver with a newborn and a toddler running around. I actually made about 20 different freezer dinners before Michael was born. So if you guys want to see more freezer meal videos, just click like on this and let me know. Also, for those of you who never remember to thaw your meal in the fridge the night before, like me, I will show you a quick and easy tip at the end of this video to instantly thaw your meal just enough to fit it into the Instant Pot so that you're not trying to shove a whole square into the pot. So let's go ahead and get started. The first recipe is pulled apple cider chicken sandwiches. I'll leave the recipe here so you can screenshot it and refer back to it. So the first thing I did was pull out a freezer bag and write down the name of the meal, the date, and how to cook it. I also write down anything else that I need with the meal like buns, barbecue sauce, sweet potato fries and salad, just things that I can serve this meal with. After putting the chicken in the bag, I cut up an onion and also cut up an apple into really thin sticks. I didn't have any apple cider on hand, but applesauce works just fine with this recipe, so I added 3 fourths cup of applesauce. After adding all the ingredients together, I tried to get as much air out of the bag as possible and sealed the bag nice and tight. And now this meal is ready for the freezer until you are ready to cook the chicken. I cooked this in the crock pot and it turned out delicious. I love putting these on buns and adding some barbecue sauce, throwing a salad together and serving it with some sweet potato fries. This was a delicious fall dinner. Next is my favorite chili, sweet turkey chili. Again, here is the recipe so you can screenshot it. You can put this chili in the crock pot on low for eight hours or in the pressure cooker for 20 minutes. After adding my ground turkey straight into the bag, I added a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of garlic, a fourth a cup of brown sugar. I do add a lot of chili powder, and everything that you see in this measuring cup, I did not add all of that in, but you can just kind of see how much I add. I just kind of guesstimate. Then I chop up an onion. I add a can of diced tomatoes, a can of crushed tomatoes, and two cans of chili beans, and you do not need to drain them. Just pour it all straight in the bag. And then get as much air out as possible and seal it up, and it's ready for the freezer as well. I cooked this for 40 minutes in my Instant Pot and it turned out delicious. Next, this is probably the best Sloppy Joe that I have ever had. You can cook this in the crock pot on low for six to eight hours or on high for four hours, or you could cook this in the Instant Pot for 20 minutes. I like to serve these on buns with sweet potato fries and a salad as well. So I actually ended up making this for dinner on the day that I was filming these recipes. So just pretend that that pot is a bag and you can literally just stick all of this in a bag. After adding my ground beef, I cut up an onion and then I diced a green pepper. I added two teaspoons of chili powder half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, but I just had two eight ounce cans, two tablespoons of light brown sugar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then you can either stick this in the freezer or cook this straight away, just like what I am doing on this night. And voila, here is the finished product. It smells amazing. I had some sweet potatoes on hand, so I chopped up some sweet potatoes, made some sweet potato fries, added some olive oil, sea salt, and baked it at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes, and I also flipped them in between. This is definitely one of my go-to meals. Next is cube steaks with gravy. You can cook this in the crock pot on low for six hours or in the instant pot for 23 minutes. 
I love to serve this with mashed potatoes and green beans. I add the cube steaks to the bag. I know the recipe calls for six cube steaks, but I just used four. And then, of course, chop up another onion. And then I added two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of beef bouillon, two teaspoons of minced garlic, a teaspoon of salt, and a dash of pepper. And then I added two cups of water. And there you have it, cube steaks and gravy. And if you don't have time to make mashed potatoes, just go to the store and get some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I definitely do that from time to time. This has such amazing flavor. Ugh, oh, so good. And last but not least, chicken French dip sandwiches. After adding my chicken to the bag, I cut up half of an onion. And then I added two teaspoons of butter diced, a teaspoon of beef bouillon, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of cornstarch, a tablespoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then I added a cup of water since I did the beef bouillon and not the beef broth, but you can definitely just use beef broth instead. And then I sealed it up and put it in the freezer. I love to serve these on hoagie rolls with Havarti cheese. That cheese is so creamy and delicious. And also reserve some of the broth in a little cup and you can dip your sandwich in there. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Now you can store your freezer meals right side up in the freezer, but just for organizational purposes, I like to freeze them flat and then I set them up just so that they're easy to flip through and I can easily find which meal that I want. Then again, these can be kind of hard to cook in the Instant Pot if you take them straight from the freezer and want to put them in the Instant Pot. So a quick tip is just to take your freezer meal, put it in some hot water for about five or so minutes. And that's enough to kind of break it down a little bit and then you can stick it in the Instant Pot. And if your meal is pretty frozen, you might want to add extra time to the Instant Pot. I just kind of estimate that. Sometimes I just double the cook time. And there you go, you can cook your meal in a flash straight from the freezer if you forget to thaw it the night before, which I do plenty of times. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and try out some of these recipes and let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time, bye.